Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Welcome back to our virtual STEM sessions. I am so happy to have you all here, and I am so excited for this activity today for STEM Fridays. And for STEM Fridays, today we got our STEM Rainbow Row. But also, I want to refresh some of the minds that are new here today. STEM is an acronym. It is short form for the fields of science, technology, engineering, and math. In the category of science, which we are gonna be trying today, is exploring cause and effect, manipulating and combining objects together to see what happens. Secondly, we have technology, using basic tools like magnifying glasses, large scissors, screws, scissors, and glue to create something new. Thirdly is engineering, exploring how objects work together and identifying the best material for the task. And then lastly, we have is math, which is, this includes counting, weighing, and measuring objects. Today, we'll be creating a Skittles rainbow through science. But before we start <clears throat> our experiment, I wanted to ask you, I wonder, what are some predictions about our Skittles experiment? What do you think will happen? <clears throat> Can you think of any predictions? Type them in the comments below. If you guys have any predictions of what will happen with our Skittles. I'll give you some of my I wonders. I wonder, how will we make this rainbow with Skittles? I wonder. What colors will appear on our plate? I wonder what will happen when we add water. Mm, those are some very, very good predictions. And all the ones in the comments, thank you for your predictions and we will find out together. So before we start, I just wanna say you can join in and do this activity with me or you can do it later when the video is posted on our Facebook page. But you can have fun and watch this activity and maybe try it yourself for another day. But what you're going to need is you're going to need some water. So you're going to need a plate and you're going to need some Skittles or I heard you can even use m and But first, what we're going to start by doing is placing our different colors of Skittles onto our plate. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, we're going to use different colors here. I had sorted out my colors. And actually, that is a part of math because that is sorting our different colors and we could even count them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a rainbow. We're gonna use red and we gotta make sure that it's on the outside of our plate. So now that the water, I'm do something magical to my water. I want orange, we're gonna need some yellow and you're just gonna keep repeating the colors that you want as a pattern. So we don't have blue, so we will go right to purple. And then you repeat. So then you would go back in the same colors. Use the orange. Then we got yellow. Then we got green. Oops. Then we got purple. Then we repeat again, we go red, orange, yellow, and green. And I will be one second while I finish my little rainbow. If you guys have any questions for this experiment or any predictions still, you can put them in the comments for us to find out together. And for anybody that is new watching, welcome to our STEM Fridays. And I hope you have an amazing day. Um, let's see, we need, we're almost done there. Orange, we're at our last row, yellow, green, purple, red, orange, and I think I can fit one more in there, which would be, that's right, yellow. All right, so now I'm gonna move our Skittles out of the way so we can see what's going to happen. And I'm gonna bring myself a little bit closer for you all 
so you can watch what happens. All right, so before we start, what do you think will happen when I add this water onto our plate? Hmm. Let's find out together. So you gently pour in the middle of our Skittles. And you're gonna watch, oops, what happens. It'll take a few minutes for it to happen, but when you see it, you will know. I can already see the reaction happening of cause and effect. Well, I'm gonna talk about it while we watch as this happens. Now, I wonder what colors you see that are appearing in the water. Did any of your predictions come true? If so, please tell us in the comments. Extension, make different patterns with many different kinds of Skittles. Example is blue, green, and red, because there is multiple different colored Skittles out there in different packs. Remember earlier how we asked how we would get a rainbow out of Skittles? Well, the dyes from the Skittles top coat, which is the color of the candy, will slowly start pushing out of the Skittles and disintegrate into the water. By adding us by, they will start to turn white and lose their color. It is called cause and effect by adding a solid and a liquid together. Your child is learning their colors when having to go through the Skittles to find the piles of red, blue, green, purple, and all the other colors, which is another, what, which is another stem like we talked about earlier. Do you know what one that it is? That's right, it's black. Another way they are learning is through engagement by being invested in what they what will happen to the skittles when we pour the water in. And um, another way that they are learning is through engagement is that when they put the water in with the skittles, they're invested at what's going to be happening in front of them. So they're so focused at what's gonna happen. But I hope you all enjoyed today's virtual STEM experiment. I wanna thank you so much for joining me today on this fun, colorful rainbow. And I hope you have an amazingly fun day on this Friday. Be safe and we will see you next time, scientists, on our next STEM experiment. Bye.